Now let's dive a little bit deeper into this concept of behavioral fit. What that means, we'll look at some examples and see kind of behind the scenes of, of the whole human resources industry and why they gravitated towards this style of interviewing. So with behavioral fit, there are kind of three things to consider. The why, why companies are doing it, the examples and how we can understand when somebody asks a question, kind of what they're looking for, and then what kind of answers we should be focused on giving. So first, the why. The why comes from your past experiences. And by asking you to provide specific examples, a behavioral style interview can really tease out your potential to fit in this job role, whatever that job may be. And so this is one that has been studied and in the HR world has really become popular as the correct or best style of interview to assess whether or not you'll be a good fit in the new position. So let's look at a quick example here. Describe a situation in which you used persuasion to convince someone to see things your way. It's kind of a, a, a probing, uh, direct kind of question, right? It's, it's not something you would typically get asked. And because of that nature, because of the, the, the bit of, of brashness in, in these words, it will force you to be specific, to describe past experiences, and to really get to the heart of, of one of these examples. Now, in terms of what they're looking for, you know, if you don't provide a very good answer, they may follow up. So they may ask something like, can you tell me a little bit more about the situation? Exactly what did you do? So a lot of times this one comes up when people say, oh, um, I built this thing that did this other thing. Okay, now we all know that no one person builds an entire thing by themselves. So what part did you do in that role? Because then, especially in a technical interview, I may ask you to diagram that. And this is why I think bringing a demo of a thing and showing exactly how you did it is knocking it out of the park. And that is exactly what the interviewer is looking for. So what is your specific role in this? How did this turn out? What other challenges did you come across? What did you do to address those? So literally on a behavioral interviewing guide, the interviewer will have that top question and then have these five or six additional follow-up questions below. And the whole point is to really get through the polite layer that we put around ourselves when we're interacting with people we don't know and get to what is the meat of the situation, you know, and, and really just get to, are you going to be good in this role? So, in terms of the answers you should be giving or what they're looking for, it's what are your abilities, technical and otherwise? What are the behaviors that you've exhibited in the past and how will those speak to the current situation or the situations you may be in in this role? And then what are the competencies from a technical standpoint as well as a communication standpoint, presentations? This is why, again, a demo really just checks all of these boxes. And when an interviewer is coming up with these questions, they have a framework. The first part of this called the STAR model is what was the situation the candidate was in? Tell me about a time, etc. A task. What was the task the candidate needed to accomplish? Where you were faced with multiple competing deadlines. Action. What were the actions the candidate took to accomplish this task? What did you do and? And then the results. What were the results of these actions? How did it turn out? So a behavioral interview, a very common one that you'll probably go through here, follows these for this framework for the questions. Let's look at a perfect example of this here. Tell me about a time where you were faced with multiple competing deadlines. What did you do and how did it turn out? And so this style of interviewing, this behavioral interviewing, you can look it up. There's all kinds of research out there, public resources from the HR perspective, from basically what they're trying to do when they ask you these questions. So I'd encourage you to go do that if you want to dig deeper here. It is an interviewing style that I adopted through the HR team that kind of encouraged us, you know, many years ago as managers, as hiring managers. And, uh, and it seemed to work well because... It's one thing to say, uh, give a specific, you know, uh, question and just kind of get this, this, this surface level answer that never was as effective as just getting to the heart of it. What did you do specifically? How did you handle that? Um, tell me about a situ uh, tell me about a time when your boss told, you no. what, and even though you knew that they were wrong, what did you do? Why? And how did it turn out? Very, very poignant question, just direct because 
you're going to be facing those situations. So I think they're just trying to assess your competency, your skill and all that and see how you'll fit from a behavioral standpoint in that company. I hope that lesson was helpful to you. If you want to learn more and continue this journey, head over to freethedataacademy.com slash YT to see our entire catalog and sign up for a seven-day free trial so you can start learning today to elevate your career tomorrow.